New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Today, I'm going to show you a tool by Harbor Freight. It is carried under the Icon brand. I did purchase this with my own money, and it is the Professional Digital Display Circuit Tester. It is basically a test light on steroids. If you're not familiar with the Icon brand, this is Harbor Freight's best of the best. This is their very top tier product, and as you can see, it comes in an extremely nice case. The pins on the hinge are removable. That way, if you want to remove the lid and use this just laying in the top of your tool, toolbox, you certainly can do that. It makes a nice tray to organize all of the components. What I also like about most icon cases is everything snaps in place and when the lid is closed, nothing can move. All the components stay put. So if you put them on a service truck such as I have, they're going to stay where they need to stay. So as I said earlier, this is basically a test light on steroids, a steroid part, meaning that it will tell you what the voltage is at the point that you're testing. It will also tell you if you're picking up a positive or a negative polarity. We'll talk about that in a bit. But for the most part, it works just like a test light. You have probes that you can put on the end and you have a ground clamp that you can clamp somewhere on a ground. This particular design allows you to put different attachments on the end. There are two different probes. One is a little over six inches and the other one is a little over two inches. And it's also worth noting that both of these are insulated all the way up to the tip. The device's end has threads kind of deep down inside and that's because it serves as a multi-purpose connector. Some of them just screw in like the probes, but because it's smooth from here all the way to the tip, it'll accept a standard banana plug. The adapter they give you is basically a gender changer and it allows you to take other attachments that have a banana clip receiving end and you can plug them in like that. Also included is a piercing probe. These are awesome because if you're trying to test a wire to see if it has power, you put the wire down inside this hook and you start twisting the end up, which will tighten it up. And as you can see, there is a white cage and inside the center of that white cage is a needle and that needle will go through the insulation of the wire. Now, of course, this will leave a pinhole in your wire and you'll probably want to tape that back up or use some liquid tape, but it is a very good way way to test live voltage on a wire and I have to cut the wire. And as you can see, there are two different types of clamps. The kit pretty much includes everything you need to test voltages on a circuit. Now the important specs, the ranges are 3 volts to 49 volts positive DC. Those measurements have a 0.1 volt resolution, which is plenty if you're working on general products like cars or tractors. That 0.1 resolution is perfect for diagnosing general issues. It also draws less than 10 milliamps, so that means it's safe to work on around computers. You're not going to wreck your automobile computer using this probe to test output. It's also worth noting that this feels really good in my hands. It's built very well. This isn't something that's just going to break like a cheap test light. I expect this tool to hold up and last for a very long time, but again, I expect that out of the quality of Icon. I think a good test would be to test the voltage on this battery. Now, this is a Hercules 20 volt battery and it is a little bit used. It needs charge, so it's going to test below 20 volts. But let's go ahead and test the voltage and see what we have. It's testing 18.4 volts. And as you can see, there is a positive in front of it. So we know that the test lead is on the positive terminal. Let's go ahead and reverse the polarity and see what it does. Now that I've reversed the polarity, it says negative. There's also a green light on the other end. It's so it's saying we have a negative 18.4 volts. So we know our test lead is on the negative side and not the positive side. The screen looks like it's flickering on the camera, but in real life, it's very bright and it looks very clear. So what are my final thoughts? Well, I really like it. I personally prefer to work with a test light when I can. Obviously, a multimeter will do a lot more, but sometimes multimeters are balky. You got to set them down. You got to be able to see the display. You're working with two leads. This has a 12 foot cord, making it really easy to just clip this onto something that's negative, maybe the chassis of the car or even the negative terminal of the battery. And then you can just take the probe and work your way around testing for voltages. Now, being more than just a test light, it's also going to show you any voltage drops that you may have going on, making troubleshooting a little bit easier. As usual, if I find any problems with it, I will post it in a pinned comment down below. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.